In this tutorial, we are going to talk about creating options for objects, appearances, and behaviors in SimLab VR through the use of scene states and animation sequences. Let us begin by creating several color options for the dining table using scene states. From the scene states menu, select Capture. Scene states allow you to store several object attributes and gives you the ability to reapply them on demand. In the Scene States dialog, disable all the attributes except for the Material attribute. Then select the main group for the dining table assembly and click on Capture from Selection. Now click on the seat to access the Material attributes from the panel to the right and change the color to blue. Notice that all the white objects in the dining table assembly had also turned to blue since they share the same material. Now once again, select the dining table and click on Capture from Selection. Create an additional variation by changing the color once more, then select the main assembly and click on Capture. To access the stored scene states, click on the Scene States tab in the panel at the bottom. As you can see, each created scene state has a thumbnail representing it, and to apply it to the scene state, simply drag it onto the 3D area. The second step in the process is attaching the created scene states to the scene as a list. And to do so, click on Visualize Scene Options from the Actions menu. From Visualize Scene Options dialog, you need to specify a trigger first. Setting a trigger determines which object will display the list upon interacting with it during the VR experience. And in the case at hand, we would want to set the dining table assembly as the trigger. Select the assembly and click on the Add Trigger icon. Notice that a pin has been created in the scene. This pin will give you access to the options within the VR experience when you activate it. Position the pin on the table by pressing N on your keyboard to toggle snapping to objects. Then click on the table's counter to place the pin on it. Keep in mind that you can also resize the pin to control its size and the size of the options it will display. The next step is connecting the created scene states to the added trigger. Simply drag the scene states from the panel at the bottom and drop them on the list under the trigger. Now that the scene states are connected as a list to the trigger, you can customize the list's appearance during the VR experience. Click on List 1 to display its attributes. In the Attributes portion in the dialog box, you can change the name of the list. Changing the list's names would help you to better manage your scene and will not affect the function of the list. To change the list's appearance, click on the Visual Representation Combo box, where you can set the appearance to a label, a model from the 3D scene, or a material icon. Select Material and choose one of the available material shapes then click on Apply to save the created list. From the Launch Viewer menu, select Desktop Mode. In the VR session, press Alt on your keyboard to reveal the pin. Press Alt again to hide it. Hold the left click and aim the pin. Then release the left click to reveal the list of options contained in the pin. As you can see, there are three different material spheres displayed, each of them representing one of the scene states attached to the list. Simply aim at one of the color spheres and left click to apply the scene state attached to it. Once you're satisfied with the color option you choose, press Alt on your keyboard to hide the pin along with the options available within it. And keep in mind that you can redisplay the pin by pressing Alt on your keyboard. 
Go back to Simlab Composer and access the Visualize Scene options. The dialog box will reserve the triggers and lists that you have created previously and allows you to modify them with ease. Click on the Created List icon and change the visual representation shape from a sphere to a box. Now click on an attached scene state to display the material that represents in the VR session and you will notice that Simlab Composer automatically detected the changed material in each scene state and selected the matching color as the representation. But in some cases where you change several materials in each scene state and not only one, you can manually select which material to display. To select the material to display manually, switch to the Material Library and drag a material from the library. Drop it onto the Material Selection area. Click Apply and run the Desktop mode to observe the modifications we've just applied to the scene. Go back to Simlab Composer and let us create another list where it displays different objects within it. Select the couch's assembly and press H on your keyboard to hide it. Now select the second couch assembly and press S on your keyboard to show it. Then hide it and show the last couch assembly. As you can see, we have three different designs for couches and we want to include them and present them as a list in the VR viewer. The first step is to create scene states that control which couch to show. From the scene states menu, select Capture. Disable the material attribute and enable the visibility attribute in the scene states dialog. Then select the three assemblies and click Capture from selection. Now hide the first couch and show the second. Then select all three couches and click on Capture from Selection. Create another scene state where the third couch is visible and the other two couches are hidden. Applying the recently created scene state will show a different design each time, which is what we need for the list we are about to create. From the Actions menu, select Visualize Scene Options, then select the group containing all the assemblies and click on Add Trigger. Position the pin someplace close to the couches, then proceed by adding the scene states to the new list. Click on the list to rename it and set the visual representation type to 3D model. Setting the representation type to a 3D model will allow you to display a custom 3D model as the list option, unlike the first example, where spheres and boxes were the visual presentation. Now select the first scene state connected, which displays the first couch. Then select the first couch from the object tree to the left and set it as the 3D representation. Click on the second scene state and select the second couch from the object tree to the left and set it as the 3D representation for it. Following the same steps, set the third couch as the model representation for the third scene state in the list. Before we start the desktop mode, let us adjust the pin's appearance by strengthening its glow and changing its color to a faint yellow.
The 3D Interactive Lists in SimLab Composer offers you the ability to include several options for the object attributes and behaviors in the scene without disrupting the user's immersion in the VR experience. It is a pioneer approach to interaction, yet very easy to implement, making it an irreplaceable tool for every VR experience.